All right, here's a product demo for Nexus AI in Oscar Pro. As we can see, I've popped open a patient's e-chart here. And in the bottom right corner, we'll see this tab called Nexus AI. You can click these arrows to pop it open. It'll prompt you to log in. You can keep yourself logged in for now for 12 hours. So you can log in at the beginning of the day and it'll automatically log you out at the end of the day. We'll soon be moving towards single sign-on where you can sign on to Oscar and it'll keep you signed in to your Nexus AI. A few um, key points to go over here. We can see this create a new note tab and encounter history tab and a settings tab that you can navigate through to help get the most out of the tool. Through the settings tab here, we're able to toggle on things like consent, our timestamp, adjust our languages. You can speak up to four chosen languages through the settings tab here and have your notes come out in English language. You can also customize a template from scratch or make adjustments to existing templates that you'd like. You can reach out to us for support with this or submit them directly through the settings tab here. Our default so template is a soap note. Um, you can set any template you'd like as your default here. Uh, you can also choose some favorites so that when you finish up a note, the drop down menu will have them right at the top of the list there. This can include referral letters, consult letters, insurance notes, sick notes, whatever you're looking for. In the create a new note tab, just to put a basic example together, uh, you can click this button when you're ready to start and it'll begin listening to you and transcribing the conversation you're having with your patient and taking your note. You'll get this little audio wave feedback here at the bottom and a running timer to show you that the tool is working. In the scratch pad here just above, you can type in any notes that you'd like. You could copy and paste in a medication history or, uh, sorry, medication list, patient history, anything that you'd like. Um, and at the top, you can also label, in case you don't copy and paste your notes over right away, you can toss, toss down some patient initials or uh, any type of label that you'd like so that when you refer back to it in your history tab, which I'll walk through in a moment, you'll be able to see date and time stamped and labeled to refer back to previous notes. Uh, just to put some medical context in here, perhaps a patient would come in and say, oh, thanks for seeing me. I've had a sore throat for the last three days. It hurts to swallow. I've got some swelling. I took a rapid COVID test that came back negative. Uh, I wanted to, to uh, get your opinion. And they'll say, all right, any other symptoms to report? And they'll say, I do think I have a bit of a fever as well. I say, okay, well, let's take a look at you. Jump up on the bed here. Taking a look down your throat, I can see some redness and swelling, some exudate on your tonsils. Let's take a look in your ears. Okay, all clear. Let's get some vitals from you. Your blood pressure is 120 over 80, your pulse 72, and uh, your temperature here is 38.3 degrees. It's a bit high, you've got a bit of a fever. Um, are you on any medications? Do you have any allergies? No, no medications, no allergies. All right, well, uh, this to me looks like a strep throat, so I'll prescribe you with, um, I'll prescribe you penicillin to take three times daily for the next 10 days, 500 milligrams. Please complete the course of your medication. Come back and see me if things aren't getting any better. You can also drink warm fluids like tea and do salt water gargles to help with the sore throat. Anything else I can go over with you? And at that point, they'll pull out a laundry list and the, the tool does an excellent job of complex notes. Um, but in this case, you'd be able to click on the stop button right here. It'll put together your note from whatever was included in the scratch pad and whatever was medically relevant from your conversation. You can scroll through and edit it in here if you'd like. But otherwise, you'll click this copy button right here and then move over to paste it into your notes section. And just like that, you get your soap note done, taken care of. From there, you might wanna come back in here and say, oh, now I need a referral letter for this patient. So refer them off for their sore throat and it'll have all the relevant details that you'd include in a referral letter that you'd send off. Uh, an important note on the referral letter, actually, if they do, if you do speak with the patient about referring them off for a specific issue, the referral letter will focus on that issue in particular and all of the relevant medical details that pertain to that issue. So your referral letter doesn't end up sending through sore throat symptoms and, and irrelevant information. You can also access this from your history tab. When you scroll down, you'll see date and time stamped this encounter we've just done. You can pop it back open, adjust it, or change your template if you'd like. Um, and of course, copy and paste anything you need to. So that's a product demo for Nexus AI. It is also available outside of Oscar Pro. So you can access it from a web app, just like this. 
uh, which can also be accessed from your mobile phone. Anytime you do notes on any other device, it gets saved to your account and wherever you log in, including in Oscar Pro later, you could copy and paste your notes from there. If you have any questions, need support with languages, templates, or just getting started, you can reach out to me directly and we'll be able to help you out.